بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so the next possible reason for ehrp neighborship not establishing can be like a mismatch of the k values now basically what k values we we discussed in the basic ehrp concepts so ehrp uses some metric formula in that it is going to use five different values probably the bandwidth delay load mdo reliability so technically we call them as k values and by default k1 is 1 and that is bandwidth k3 is 1 so which means they are used in the metric calculations whereas the other values like the load reliability and the mtu these values are not used in the metric calculation so the default k1 is 1 k3 is 1 remaining all are zeros and these by default these are the default values and in case if you want you can change these values so again uh, what i can do is uh, what we can do is let's say uh, as per this uh, default configuration so by default we can use uh, something like show ip protocols like here you can see show ip protocols will show you the default k values and default metric weight will be the same what you can see here so if i want i can change this k values again uh, practically you may not change these values but in case if someone wants to use these k values let's say someone wants to use the load as a metric so you can change it to one maybe reliability also again not recommended but basically if you change the k values on the router one and if you don't change on the router two, and probably you need to change on every router because if there are four or five routers so every router must match the same k values so if there is any mismatch of the k values then probably the neighborship is not going to establish so in my case here so if we just try to see here in my case if you want to change the k values there is a command called metric weights and we can use something like this is actually a type of service which will be always zero now this type of service value will not be used okay and the remaining five values if you use question mark they will be k values so if you want to just verify the same on the command line so i can go to one of these routers and if i verify the neighborship between the router one and the router two it is establishing so what i'll do is i'll try to debug the hrp packets on the router two to verify at the back end at the back end you can see the hellos are sent and received from the router one and the router two in between so what i'm trying to do is i'm, I'm trying to change the k values before you want to change you can simply go ahead and verify the default k values and if you want to change we can use this command router ehrp there's a command called metric weights mm -hmm. i can see this is type of service value uh, typically zero is only supported and the remaining you can see k1 k1 is one k2 is one normally default is zero and i'm changing k3 is also one k4 is also one k5 is also one so whatever you change you have to change it on each and every router but let's say if I'm changing it on the router one and immediately the neighborship between the router one and the router two will go down. And you can clearly see the K value mismatch. There is a log message appears at the back end. And you can see here, even uh, there is a termination of the neighbor here because of the uh, K value mismatch. Of course, you, you see that in the log message itself. So the solution is uh, normally you should not change. So let's say by mistake, if someone changes uh, without knowing the actual impact, then that can lead to the neighborship down between the two routers. So either you, you just apply it on each and every router or you just simply remove that configuration. So how, so how you verify when you say show IP protocols, you see this K values here will be there. And even when you are trying to verify the configuration, because when you are doing some troubleshooting, you do verify the configurations. And here you can see there is one additional command added, which is not uh, normal. Normally, you don't see that. 
so i'm going to remove that so when you remove again the k values will get back to normal back to default and you can see immediately the neighbor relationship comes up between the two routers here 